Two of these officers work undercover regularly, so you can't film here. Here's what happened next. I told you already, because they're undercover officers. That's the law. And that, okay. say legal experts, is where this posse member crossed a big constitutional line. We you turn your camera off, please? The sheriff's posse member had absolutely no right to do that. Dan Barr is a First Amendment attorney, and he says there is simply no law that prohibits people from videotaping police scenes, even when undercover officers are involved. In fact, people have a right to observe and document things that take place in public view. Well, it's disturbing to see a member of the sheriff's posse walk out and simply make up a law that doesn't exist. Sal Reza believes the sheriff's deputies and posse member simply did not want him to videotape an emotional scene, one that he says shows the human toll these crime sweeps take. And in reality, it shows to me that there's no way to enforce immigration laws. It's, it's not a matter of trying to restrict people's ability to, to film or document things. Lieutenant Charles Siemens is in charge of the sheriff's posse program. He contends the posse member in this case was only trying to protect a pair of undercover officers. It appears that that posse member may have violated this person's rights. Yeah, you're correct that, that he, he uh, you know, perhaps I think in frustration of this guy not, not complying was was quoting a law there's no, you know he says it's it's the law you're correct there there wasn't a law so as i said we're taking training measures to to ensure that you know everybody's educated on that is this something you take seriously absolutely Reza says he understands the sheriff's office has an interest in protecting its officers but he says his job in documenting these sweeps is also important i can see what you know what they're trying to do but at the same time i'm going to assert my rights under the Constitution. The incident Sal Reza was filming involved the arrest of a woman who was wanted for failing to pay a parking ticket. She has since been deported to Mexico. Her children, shown in our story, are U.S. citizens.